What's going on guys? So I uh, recently got into coyote hunting and um, I've been on maybe four or five hunts and finally had a successful one last night and got a little bit of uh, footage of the hunt um, using this Sightmark Wraith scope. It kind of records what you're shooting. So that was pretty cool. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So um, before I kind of get into what I wanted to talk about today, which is kind of you know, getting into coyote hunting from a very budget kind of entry level standpoint, which is where I'm at. Um, I'm going to cut right to the footage and show you guys kind of how this uh, hunt turned out. He's still fucking up. He's going. It's okay. It's okay. I lost him. I lost him behind the tree. Uh, okay, here's where he came in. You can see his track up to here. The first shot, I got him right here, and he spun. And then he came over here, and I hit him again. So we got really good blood here. Look at that, man. And then he took off. Oh, he, he looks like he fell there and he's right over there we're gonna go see if we can find him so as you can see um you know it wasn't super pretty but i got it done we got the coyote and um was successful so you guys saw i ended up taking three shots at that thing um and i think what ended up happening is my first shot was actually the kill shot um and then i think i missed the second and third one, or I know I missed the third one. If you kind of slow that footage down, you can see um, that I pulled that third shot really bad. But when I set this rifle up, um, this is the MMP Sport 2 in 223. Um, I sighted it in at 100 yards, and then I was able to take a shot out to 150 and just kind of see where the grouping is uh, with this rifle. And I'm not that good of a shot at all. Um, and I was, you know, getting like two and a half inch groups at 150 yards with it, which was really impressive to me. Now, when that coyote came in, when I first clicked that video on, um, it was about 230 yards away. And that's why I'm not sure if it shows in the video, but I actually zoom in the scope a little bit um, from four to eight times zoom to be able to get a little bit more detailed shot on him. And if you kind of watched, he came across and then came into, it was 197 yards is where the first shot was at, which um, you can't really tell from the video, but that's a pretty good poke for me. Um, so I was just happy, happy to uh, get him. And uh, I, I think I got a little lucky, but I'd rather be lucky than good sometimes. So um, it was really cool. Uh, that was, I think, our fifth or sixth hunt, like I said, and that was our first time uh, having a coyote come out to the call. We were using just one of the cheaper Fox Pro um, electronic calls, and uh, so it finally worked, which was really cool. So anyways, if you guys have ever thought about getting into this, which I've wanted to do it for two or three years now, and everything's just so expensive, like you... 
you know, for such a uh, niche kind of hobby, you can't justify spending a ton of money right away. So what I did is I kind of built the most budget rifle I could to be able to do this at night. And this is what I kind of ended up with. Now, I already had the rifle, luckily, which is an M&P Sport 2. Um, and what I had to do is modify, I had to change out that front hand guard. I'm sure you guys have seen these and they have those big, uh, what do they call them, like A2 front post sights on them. Um, I wanted to be able to mount my IR light on the bottom here, so I had to get rid of that. And I also wanted a better spot to be able to mount the gun in a bipod or tripod so you can see that gives it a good spot to mount up onto that tripod that I got. Um, so I had to do a little work. I had to spend like uh, maybe 100, 150 bucks on the gun to get it set up. And then I bought one of these Sightmark Wraith scopes. Now this comes with an IR light, but the stock IR light was horrible on it. Um, if you buy one of these, buy an upgraded IR light uh, because basically when you look out, like say you're looking out over like a hundred yard field and there's a tree line, if you're using that stock IR light, it gives you this little lit up spot through your scope that you're looking at where you zoom around. And I mean, it would work, but when you use one of these big IR lights, this is made by, uh, who is it? It's the Coyote Cannon by Sniper Hog Lights, okay? And I think that was like 200 bucks or something, but it's an, it totally changes everything. Like it lights up to where I've looked over, we hunted one field that was over a thousand yards and I could see the back tree row with this setup clear as day, a thousand yards compared to probably you get maybe 100, 150 with that stock IR light. So um, that's something that you guys need to do a little research on. If you're going to get into this like I am, I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information from a beginner standpoint. Um, so we got the IR light and the scope and then the tripod. This is the Bog uh, Death Grip tripod and it works really good. I think it was 150 bucks or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and put links below to everything so you can check, check it out if you're interested in getting into this or whatever. Um, now, the guy I hunt with bought the ATN version, uh, which is a little more money, like a couple hundred bucks more or whatever, and it's way better than this one. Um, when you're looking out, the field of view of this one is about half of what that ATN is. Like It's almost like looking at a big screen TV with his, and I'm looking at this like little TV, and his is big. Um, so, and, and also this only records video. It doesn't record video and audio. So I had to take the audio from his video and put it underneath the video to be able to sync them together for that clip I just showed you guys. So, um, but as far as a budget, budget setup, I think this is about as cheap as you could do it. I'm sure, you know, you can put this on any rifle you already have. Um, you know, you just got to get the night vision and a good IR light and you're ready to rock. So, that's it, you guys. I wanted to just show you that footage uh, just because I thought it was kind of fun and cool and it was my first coyote. So I'll probably look back on this and kind of see how silly I was, how I missed those last shots. But, you know, my heart was pumping and uh, it was super exciting to finally, after putting in quite a few nights of hunting, to finally have one come out and uh, do what it was supposed to do. And we got her done. So that's it. If you guys have any questions for me, let, let me know. You know, like I said, I'm very beginner at this, but I've been doing a lot of research over the last few months to get an efficient setup to do this. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to go in and have some dinner, you guys, but I wanted to share this with you and uh, thanks for watching.